Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where I'm back here in Poland at Energylandia. I was last here just over 12 months ago in August 2018 where I came out to ride Hyperion, the huge roller coaster you can see just behind me. And uh, yeah, I came here just a couple of weeks after that opened. It was their big investment for 2018. And I thought, you know what? It's going to be a couple of years now, probably 2020 before I'm next back out here to come and ride something. How wrong was I? Um, bear in mind it was only 12 months ago no work had took place no groundwork or anything uh, for this huge new rmc that has just opened a couple of weeks ago it is called zardra uh, and as much as i knew they were going to build an rmc it was originally expected for 2020 not 2019 so it is crazy to think that just over 12 months after i was last here there was nothing it was a field and then now they've got this massive new ground up RMC that I can't wait to ride. Um, so yes, I'm back here at Energylandia. I wasn't expecting to be back here this year, but I'm certainly not complaining. Zardra looks absolutely incredible. It's over 200 foot tall. It's got three inversions. And honestly, I think it's got some really nice elements from looking at it off ride. So I can't wait to see how it rides first thing this morning i'm gonna head down there uh, and get on it and of course i'll be riding it later on in the day for my full thoughts as well uh, as we know with a lot of these rmcs and various different roller coasters from a variety of manufacturers you got to sort of let them warm up before you share your full thoughts but uh, with it being the big new ride i'm gonna head straight down there first and uh, hopefully get on the front row so in terms of crowd levels today um it is expected to be quite quiet park hours are 10 until 6. i am gonna be back here tomorrow as well for a day two vlog uh, but yeah, I mean, we're 20 minutes from opening and there's a few cars coming in. It's not like too busy at all. Um, I was expecting it to be quite quiet. So that's looking good, really, uh, because we are back in September now. I know that the uh, kids in Poland have gone back to school. Um, so, yeah, it should be a relatively quiet day here at Energylandia. So I'm going to make my way down to the entrance. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not expecting it to have the same atmosphere as last time because I came in the summer holidays. There was a lot of extra entertainment and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not expecting that today with it being off peak. I came in peak time before and I think about it and there was a lot of extra stuff going on that I wouldn't expect to see uh, during off peak time but we'll soon find out I can't wait to get on Zardra honestly I've been on some epic roller coasters this year and it is great to be back here in Poland to come and ride another one and of course share plenty of on-ride POVs and get back on Hyperion as well so it's going to be a great day welcome to the day one vlog from Energylandia <laughs> Well, looks like I was wrong about the atmosphere. I love it, they've got the opening show again. I just assumed, oh, it's an offbeat day. They're not gonna really have the opening show going on, but so they have, here we go. I love it. Stuff like this really sets the mood at the start of the day. I really like it when parks do an opening show, all the performers. Yeah, get clapping along, here we go. Oh, it's great to be back. So it's just gone 10am and here I am inside the park and uh, yeah, making my way down to Zardra. What I did forget to mention is that they've not just built a huge new ground up RMC for this year, they've opened two other junior roller coasters as well and a huge new themed area that it's all part of and that's where I'm heading to now. And you might be thinking, why am I going through a tunnel? Well, this wasn't here last time at this side, you actually have to go under the main road and the rest of the park where they've built this new themed area and where they're building yet another new ride that I'll talk about later on is actually going on this side of the road. So that's why I'm now walking into this subway and the weird thing is, listen to the music. It is playing a different version of Hall of the Mountain King. I'm not making this up, <laughs> which is well known for being uh, a somewhat Alton Towers sort of made their theme tune. Alton Towers didn't create it, it's a famous classical piece of music. Um, but yeah, they've got their own version of Hall of the Mountain King. Listen to this. Which is quite funny because Alton Towers is the part what got me into theme parks. It's very weird to be here in Poland and hearing that. Uh, but I tell you what, we don't have an Alton Towers. Is that beast, look at that. There she is, Zardra. Oh wow, I know a bit, <laughs> I'm shattered. Anyone who's been here before will know that I've just literally fast walked, I would say, I wouldn't say ran, I fast walked uh, all the way down from the other end of the park. Uh, this place is massive now, it really is. Um, but yeah, Hyperion's all the way back there. 
and this shows how big the park now is. 15 roller coasters here now. I think I need to borrow this. Wouldn't be as shattered then. <laughs> all the Mary Kay, it's funny, isn't it? But yeah, literally just over 12 months ago, all of this around here was just grass. Like there was nothing, no rides, no foundations, nothing. I was riding the Mayan coaster, which is the SLC over there. And yeah, like there was nothing here. Look at this, wow. <sighs> I'm shattered. I can't wait to get up here and get in the queue. I'm waiting for the front row no matter what. I'm assuming with it being quiet, it's gonna be on one train, but I don't care. I just wanna get on this beauty, look at it. Zardra, a couple of weeks after opening and all the Mountain Kings playing, it's so funny. Hey! Well, I must say this new themed area, they've really stepped up the theming compared to the rest of the park. Bear in mind this place only opened back in 2014. And uh, yeah, it's now got 15 roller coasters, which is actually more than any other theme park in Europe. It's topped Europa Park in terms of how many roller coasters there are here. Now I've been told that Zardra has got a very long queue line. Um, some fans of the channel were here yesterday actually and I saw them last night at my accommodation and they said oh they're going to try and get as many rides on Zardra as they could in an hour bear in mind it was walk on but they only got four rides uh, because of the, how long the queue is they had to keep walking round um, so yeah I'm expecting quite a long queue line but that isn't a bad thing because it means I'll get some really nice beautiful shots of the coaster loads of off-ride footage to come later but of course I'll have a POV first from this beauty can't even see it because the queue line is that tall 206 foot tall this one and here we go let's make our way up to the station So Zardra does feature a locker system that I'm not really too keen on uh, because you do have to pay for it. It's worked out that it is only one pound, so that isn't too bad. Uh, but still, I do think really rides that don't allow you to put bags in the station, uh, they should really have a free locker system available. I mean, Universal are the best when it comes to that. Uh, but yeah, I've used some machines. It all translates to English. You can pay contactless and uh, you get given like a little wristband just here that you scan underneath and that should open me up a locker. You say should. We'll see what, I, oh, there we go. <laughs> Z53, there we are. Right, let's go to the station. Oh, look at that beauty go. So as no bags or large cameras are allowed up here in the station area, just thought I'd show you on the GoPro how this works in terms of the loading procedure. Um, you've got these four different turnstiles with the four different screens up there. And uh, yeah, if you want to wait for the front, you can do the first trolley, as it's called up there. And you've got individuals in the middle and then all trolleys at the back just there. So yeah, you can, it's a very weird loading system. But yeah, you all split yourselves off. Obviously I'm waiting here for the front row. Two have just gone through, so it's just counted that back down to zero. So as soon as that train comes back round and then riders get on, this will change to uh, two riders again. As you can see, look, there you are. Six people can go through on that one to go and fill some of the empty gates. But here we go. This is it, my first ever ride on Zardra. Come and join me on the front row of this brand new ground up iBox RMC. Let's go. Here we go, so this is it. Front row, in the sunshine. First ride on Zardra. Oh, the view is absolutely spectacular. And what is it with RMCs and making noisy lift hills? <laughs> Let's see how this beauty rides. Oh, wow.
Wow, there we go. Wow, well, I'll tell you what, that thing, uh, I don't feel like it's going to get any better warming up. That thing was really, really fast. Like, blimey. I don't think I'm going to see much of a speed difference later on. That was flying around the track. Blimey. <laughs> First reaction, that was absolutely incredible in terms of the speed not much in terms of air time as i was kind of expecting really um but yeah like i need to get around get further back on the train i think wow i still can't get over the speed of that thing that was absolutely insane for a front row ride uh, normally you feel the speed of a coaster a lot more on the back so yeah i'm really looking forward to this back row ride on it uh, but from an initial morning front row ride on zardra it certainly hasn't disappointed the speed of that thing honestly is insane uh, but the first drop also was incredible ridiculously steep first drop on there uh, made awesome by the views all around as well i mean that was brilliant looking out over all the farmland and uh, all the lakes in the distance that really made it as well uh, but my favorite overall element of that ride which is very different for me with rmc normally it's like the double downs or the crazy airtime moments but with this uh, it's actually the zero g stall the element you can see just behind me there uh, i thought that was absolutely brilliant i think it's the height of it to be honest uh, that really made it uh, but like i say i think i need to go around for another ride and try a back row loads of people have said to me sean zard has got a very long queue line which is the right very right about uh, but it's also uh, even more crazy on the back so we're about to find out just want to say in terms of the operations it was just took me 35 minutes um, to do that ride bear in mind it had no queue it's actually that quiet today they're having to wait for people to fill the train before they can send it so yeah let's see what happens here we go another one's coming out uh, in 40 minutes that is only the fourth dispatch that has been made on Zardra so let's see what happens Let's go on for another ride. Much quicker dispatch that time. I must say they've got plenty of staff on the station. Two operators, four hosts, six members of staff in there. It's crazy. So I'm on the front of the back car. Don't know if you can hear me or not. <laughs> I thought I'd go in the front of the back car instead of the back row. Just so you can see more on the GoPro. Blimey, <laughs> words can't describe how fast that is and also how intense it is, especially on that turnaround section. <laughs> I need a minute to get my breath back and that's rare for me when I come off a coaster. Blimey. get any more crazy that has just blown me away it was absolutely incredible on the second to last row uh, like i said just i didn't want to sit right on the back because all you'd have seen on the gopro um it's just like two seats so i thought uh, now i'll make sure that uh, you get a better view on that se second to last row and i'll go around and do a very back row ride at some point later today but blimey that thing is absolutely crazy what a stunning roller coaster 
uh, and wherever you sit, it seems like you're going to get the speed. That's what that coaster's about, it is the speed. And don't get me wrong, there's some great moments of airtime, uh, but nowhere near as much as, say, Untamed or Steel Vengeance. Um, you know, it's not about the airtime, this coaster, which is really interesting because RMC are so well known for their airtime. But with this, it's the speed, the intensity, and the inversions. Like I say, the 0G stall, brilliant. Uh, the two 0G rolls, they're really good fun. And what I like about the first one as well is how it's in the structure. Um, so there's some really good near misses on there. But blimey, that thing is intense. Going up into that turnaround section after the first drop, obviously you go down that massive drop and then it banks you off to the right. It's really intense, you start to feel it at that point. And, and going up into that turnaround section kind of reminded me a little bit of Lightning Rod at Dollywood, but much bigger, much more impressive and much more intense uh, with that section. That's kind of how I was expecting Lightning Rod to feel on that turnaround section, uh, but it just didn't. Whereas that was really intense, like ridiculous. I'd say that is actually the most intense part of any RMC coaster I've been on that. Even Steel Vengeance, that, that turnaround, you really get some heavy G-forces on there. Uh, and then, like I say, the rest of the ride, the speed of it, uh, the near misses the inversions it all comes together in a world-class coaster experience it is absolutely awesome and um, you know me i do love my airtime um, you know so i think i would have rated it even higher if it had a little bit more airtime but i say that it's very nice to have an rmc coaster with a very different layout and a very different sort of meaning behind it if you like it's clear that when this was designed, uh, the thought, let's go out there and, and not focus on airtime with this ride so much. Let's really think about the speed, the transitions, the banking, and it's all come together in this beautiful experience. I must say as well, the ride looks gorgeous, both on and off ride. Uh, the whole structure of it is really impressive. Uh, to me, how it's been designed is brilliant. Uh, with it being a hybrid, of course, it's a mix of wood and steel, even though it is called the Zardra wooden coaster. It's not fully made of wood. Um, you know, as you'll know if you're an enthusiast, uh, it is a hybrid coaster, it's a mix between the two, but what a structure. I tell you what, if you're sitting there now thinking that looks really good, honestly just go for it, book the flights and come out here because you won't regret it for that ride alone. Uh, it's absolutely world class, it's the best ride in this park, it's topped Hyperion for me and I loved that last time. I'm not sure exactly where it sits in my top coasters yet, more rides are needed, but oh there we are, that's a good dispatch. Uh, but yeah, it seems like it's just a nice flow of guests now. Uh, they are waiting until the train is full. It is on one train. Uh, but yeah, it seems like uh, there's just a nice flow of people heading down there now. So it's still walk-on, um, but they're getting the trains out there frequently. So anyway, that was, uh, honestly, I'm over the moon with that ride. One of the best roller coaster rides I've ever had there. Zardra here at Energylandia in Poland. This is the part to watch. So now I've got 15 coasters and there's two more for me to ride in this area. So before I do any more rides on Zardra, I'm gonna get these other two coaster credits that I need to do. And also there's like a, a monorail style ride that runs around this area as well. So we'll have a look at that. Uh, but here's the gift shop. Let's take you for a little walk through here, shall we? I must say I'm very impressed with the overall theming of this new area and also around Zardra. The queue line is ridiculously long though, it really is. All sorts of different merchandise here. They look a bit sort of generic, looking for something more with the coaster itself on, like this t-shirt just over here and also the cap. <laughs> Honestly, the speed of it. I know I keep going on about the speed, but wow, look at that. Very, very nice. Track looks very different there though, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that's just a standard wooden coaster track, isn't it? Have a little look around here, see what else we've got. Oh, there's a bag down there. Really like the logo, all the branding for this ride. Mug's quite nice, isn't it? Logo's quite small on there, but I do like the mug. Lots of different stuff. There we go. You even buy a little uh, little pen knife to take with you. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? How different, eh, to back home? Yeah, look at all this. Some very nice merchandise. All your generic sort of Angelandia stuff over here as well. There we go. I do you like how this little health stuff in the shops here though? That's really good. Like your strepsils and all that sort of stuff. Really good idea. Is that a sign that it's that intense? If you do that many rides, you're going to need this stand over here. <laughs> but no, honestly, that was brilliant. Really, really good. So I'm going to head around and do a couple of the other uh, rides in this area as well. So from that absolute beast over there, so this little kiddie coaster over here, it's a little Preston and Barbary uh, family roller coaster called Draken. There we go, so I'm going for a little ride on here now. Zero minute wait time, so let's go on. 
Yeah, the overall finish of this area is great round here. I mean, it feels very different actually to the rest of Energylandia. Even though this park only opened in 2014, it kind of feels like their vision has changed a lot over them sort of five years really, because they're now building these heavily themed areas and really trying to split the rides off. Um, whereas the rest of the park kind of isn't like that and obviously Hyperion that is very heavily themed but that's all off to the side isn't it so we kind of get away with that in its own area so to speak um, yeah I'm looking forward to the future of this park it certainly is expanding on a rapid pace so here we go it's going to get another coaster credit and then there's another one just around the corner as well I think that's a, another Vekoma Junior coaster off we go up that kicker wheel lift hill oh the views around this area Straight over the zero G stall. Oh, what a beauty. But yeah, the park's very quiet today. I think I'm going to get loads of rides over the next two days. Look at the size of this place, though. The fact that Hyperion's all the way over there, it's nuts. It really is. Whee. Shame there's not a bit more theming underneath, or I say a bit more, just some theming underneath the ride itself. But the buildings and the details around here are great. I mean, it'd be nice to see them go back to the entrance of the park and add some more details there because the buildings are very impressive, like a castle style entrance, but uh, they're not that detailed. So it'd be good to see them add some more. Like all the uh, rocks and walls around here look great. A little flat ride over there as well. But yeah, this whole area is brand new and it opened a few weeks ago. Uh, I mean, the area opened before Zardra, whilst they were still finishing off the ride. You gotta think earlier this year, back in March, I think it was, it blew down Zardra. I mean, they were building the structure and there was a massive storm, loads of gusts of wind, and that was it. Like, the structure actually blew down. So to have it back open in the same year, fair play. Credit where credit's due. This smells really nice, this ride as well. Like, I know that sounds really silly, but it smells brand new, you can just tell. Same with all the wood actually over on Zardra. Very smooth actually, little Preston and Barbary. We'll go and find this for Coma then, shall we now? Somewhere around here. Two lap special. So this is it, I think it's called Frida, just over here. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Frida, Frida, I don't know, come on. If you've been watching these vlogs for a while, you'll know my pronunciation is absolutely terrible. Zero minute wait, I think that's gonna be the case for everything. But here we go, let's head around this way and go and have a ride. I must say though, they've really thought about uh, how many people are gonna be coming to this park over the next few years in terms of expanding on the gate figure and making sure that there's enough queue lines for everyone, absolutely crazy it really is but here we go it's gonna have a ride on this for coma junior coaster <laughs> i can't believe it 15 roller coasters here at this park if you want to boost your credit list and also ride some absolutely brilliant coasters uh, then this really is a park to get to it's a must visit it's actually one of the cheapest and easiest trips to do in europe as well off we go <laughs> and again another junior coaster offering some brilliant views over towards zardra Oh, that turnaround section, honestly, what an incredible ride. And here we go, I'm not sure why the lift hill's covered. Here we go, woo! Very, very smooth. The camera have come a long way as well, it's crazy. Hey, bit of helix action. Oh, well, that's a nice little last bend, isn't it? Brakes in the station, it seems. Is it a two lap special? Yeah. Off we go. <laughs> Maybe the lift hill's covered just to help protect the uh, booster wheels here on the lift hill. This looks better underneath than the one that I just did, because still do with a little bit more theming, just some barrels and stuff would be quite nice underneath. Fitting with the area. And as I mentioned back at the start of this vlog, this park aren't stopping anytime soon because they're actually building another huge roller coaster that's going to be opening in 2020, which I believe is going to be on that site just there where they've started to clear some land. So we'll uh, see if we can get some better shots of that from somewhere else in the park. But yeah, there we go. That was quite fun. No messing, lap bars up. I suppose you can see there's already quite a lot of groundwork taking place over there for this new roller coaster going to be opening in 2020. 
Honestly, the rate that this park are expanding is absolutely crazy. It really is. Uh, but yeah, next time I'm here, there's going to be a Vekoma Shockwave coaster over there that'll feature a few different inversions and launches. And uh, yeah, it looks like from the concept art, it's going to be a really impressive ride. So yeah, I mean, that'll probably be when I'm next back at this park. And it's not really that long, is it? Because that's going to be next year. So who knows if I'll make it back out here in 2020. But from looking at it, it seems like that's going to be another incredible ride. And without easy and cheap it is to get out here like I say uh, I can see me coming back next year for it to be honest there we go we one for coma it's gonna be next to another one but yeah as always here on theme park worldwide we'll keep you up to date on all the latest uh, but yeah that was just fields over there um, much like it was here where Zarja is but yeah a big expansion is coming and I don't know how much of this land they own all around here uh, but it seems like there's no stopping them to be honest wonder what that house thinks over there <laughs> Time to get my exercise in now. <laughs> now it's not just Zardra and also two roller coasters and the other flat ride that have opened as part of this area. Oh no, this is Energylandia. They don't do things by halves. We've got this little cycle monorail here as well. Don't worry, if you can't be bothered to cycle, you don't have to. You can just sit there and it'll uh, still take you around automatically. Uh, but yeah, of course, this is a great way of getting some uh, views over the construction site for that other new Vacoma coaster what's coming. There we go, straight over the site there. So it's an ever-changing part, this. Bear in mind, next time I'm here, that's going to be fully developed. And it looks like the theming around that is going to be absolutely awesome as well. Look at that. I'll stop pedaling for a minute. I don't know why I've, uh, I was pedaling around the bit that I really want to get the views of. But yeah, that's going to change so much around there. You can already start to see some of the foundation work uh, taking place. And yeah, look at it. All this site around here. Crazy, isn't it? Oh, all the Mountain Kings playing again. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, this park is just getting better and better. And the details are as well. The learning when it comes to theming. Like, look at the ride vehicles for this. Dragon Adventure, this is called. These look really nice, all the theming round. Bit steampunky, isn't it? And I must say, it's like the uh, vehicles for Zardra. I mean, I've not even spoke about the trains. The front of the trains on that are really very nice. The overall look of the ride is fantastic. Um, but yeah, and I must say, in terms of the seat belts and restraints, uh, they're not pushing them down too tight on there with the restraints, which is good. Um, so yeah, it means that uh, you are getting some more enjoyment out of the overall ride, which is good. And you're not being stapled in too much. But yeah, I'll get a bit more footage when we get around this corner. I'm very impressed with that new themed area and the fact they've not just built Zardra, that epic new coaster, they've really thought about the overall experience over there and built this new village, if you like, all the way around it with two family coasters, the flat ride, the monorail and various other facilities as well. Uh, there's new toilets, of course, down there, uh, a medical center, and it's great to see they've put lots of other things in like a bakery, restaurants. Honestly, that's a full package and you'd expect a park to open that in phases, maybe over two or three years, not in one big go. So yeah, Energylandia have done a fantastic job with that. And uh, yeah, I must say, I am very impressed. Just had a little bit of food then down there, about two and a half hours into the day then now, because uh, of course spent a bit of time around there getting a few shots of the different rides. And uh, yeah, really am very impressed with it. The park's actually got more of an atmosphere than what I was expecting. I'd say there's a little bit more in terms of crowds here than what I thought there would be today. Formula's currently on a 20 minute wait, uh, but that's what I'm gonna do next. And uh, yeah, it's the parts for Coma Space Warp that opened in 2016. This is a really good fun ride. I thought I'll do this, then make my way down to was Hyperion, you've got the speed water coaster and so much more to get on. There really is so much here at this park. Yes, it's very coaster heavy, but there's a lot of different flat rides on offer here as well. There is a dark ride, but it's absolutely awful. Uh, but I'll definitely do it either today or most likely tomorrow. Um, I'll cover most things whilst I'm here over the next two days. Uh, we'll definitely get some re-rides on my favourites. So here we go.
go, let's go for a ride on Formula. I'll take you along for the ride with the GoPro. I do love how open the trains are on this. Like it's great, like even when you sat towards the back of the train, got a lot of space to look around, doesn't restrict your view at all. And there we go, the smoke's coming out. Hey! love that coaster it might be quite short but it's really snappy the launch is really good the inversions on there yeah overall just a really enjoyable attraction it was great that was on ride footage there then from formula a brilliant ride that a lot is packed into a very tight space some really nice transitions on there and it's quite intense actually as well uh, but what really makes it is that the vest restraint uh, you actually get some really good airtime because it doesn't like push you in too much uh, the vest moves quite a lot uh, which certainly makes the experience more enjoyable. Uh, but yeah, it's a great ride that is, really, really good fun. Uh, I'd like to see something like that back in the UK. I feel like there's a few parks back home that could really benefit from a ride like that. Um, so yeah, hopefully we might see something like that come to the UK in the future. Of course, you have got the spectacular Let coaster that is on another level. It isn't too far here, it's less than an hour away from Anigilandia. I'm not going to Legendia this time um, because there's nothing really new since last year when I went. And this was a bit of a last minute trip, like I said at the start of the vlog. I wasn't intending coming back to Poland this year. It was going to be next year. Uh, but obviously because of Zardra opening, it was like, yes, I've got to get out there to ride it. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to Legendia this time because I'm actually going back to London to then fly out to Finland to go to Lynn and Mackie for my first ever time. So looking forward to that. And it's a new country to go to as well. I've never been to Finland. So yeah, in terms of the crowd levels down here, very quiet. Zardra's queue moved up to about 20 minutes by the looks of it, but they did actually add a second train, uh, which is good to see. I wasn't expecting that today. Um, so yeah, I imagine that's gonna go down again uh, quite soon um, to a short queue. But I'm gonna come down to Hyperion now and come and have a ride on here. Looks very quiet and it's advertised a 10 minute wait on all the boards. So let's go and have a go. Just want to say about the lockers as well. Yes, I've had to pay just over a pound it works out at, but it's a transferable locker that I can use on all the big rides. I mean, it was the same on Formula, I had to put my bag in a locker, and the same with Hyperion, I imagine. Uh, but yeah, for just over a pound, actually, it's very good value, isn't it? I don't mind that too much. It just keeps your stuff secure. I would still rather take it onto the platform. Uh, an ideal baggage system for me is like Icon, where it closes, um, you know, where you don't just leave it at the side. Um, but yeah, you know, it's a secure system and it is quite cheap as well. So actually, it's not too bad. But here we go, look at this. This is a spectacular Intamin Hyper Coaster, Hyperion. Let's go and have a ride. So this looks very different in here compared to when I was here last year. As you can see, they've added all the lockers all the way down in this space. I mean, they've not took anything out to uh, put these in. There's all lockers all the way down here now. And it was kind of like they knew these were coming and designed this space just for it. Um, but yeah, obviously before you could just walk up to this theme in here and see it without the lockers. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, you can tell it was definitely designed for this in the long term. Um, so yeah, you've got all the lockers around here. Like I say, it was just a big open space before. But yes, I'll put my stuff in and we'll head up and ride Hyperion. So I've literally just walked straight into the station here at Hyperion. It's a walk on. That's what I like to see. Oh, I forgot just how good the queue line was. It's a long queue line, but it does look great. And the station here as well. I actually put some moving heads in since I was last here, look. All up at the top. But yeah, it's got a very nice theme to it around here. I do love all the space theming. And here we go, let's jump on. Yeah, look at all the space you've got on these trains. So well designed. Back row beauty, coming up. <laughs> Here we go. Got a new little intro sequence there with the lighting. Do you like that? And up we go. I'm really interested to see just how this is riding. Because bear in mind, I went on it when it was a couple of weeks old. If that. 
and it had a bit of a rattle on the back row. It was quite jolty actually, so I'm really interested to see how this has aged in 12 months. But I must say, what an incredible setup they've got here. Bear in mind this park opened in 2014. They've got 15 roller coasters now, including an awesome RMC and this beast as well. Here we go, back row. <laughs> the ride again i forgot just how intense that was Woo! jolty though i mean yeah i wouldn't say it's got even more jolty than last time i'd say it was probably the sort of same as it was before hey theme park worldwide on youtube check it out Woo! blimey <laughs> what a coaster so i've just had not one not two but three rides in a row on hyperion got to make the most of it when it's on a walk-on queue and that's on a one train service as well such a brilliant roller coaster and very intense and um, yes you've got some great airtime on there uh, i'd say there's more airtime than zarja on that uh, however you've got to think about all the different elements on there again you know it's got some very intense sections you've got to think you're going down a 269 foot drop into that tunnel uh, the first drop's insane especially on the back row and then a lot of the second part of the ride is lower down towards the ground isn't it and, uh, look at the last section uh, like the last section of the ride you know where you get a great bit of air time there no water splash you'll notice there in the footage just there and also from the gopro on ride footage um, yeah, it seems like that's out of action at the moment. Not too sure if that's been turned off intentionally uh, or if it's just got a technical problem. But um, yeah, the ride itself, absolutely brilliant. And again, it's not really uh, about loads and loads of airtime. It is, again, more about the intensity, uh, the same as Zardra. I mean, you do get more airtime on this than Zardra. However, um, you know, especially this section up here, um, it's a very interesting turnaround. You know, you're going at some speed through that. And I think that's where the train jolts the most. And I wouldn't say it's rough, um, you don't feel like uncomfortable, it's just the, the train rattles a little bit side to side. Um, you know, it's certainly not a bad thing in terms of going on the ride, thinking, oh, oh it's painful, I can't do that again. Like I said, I've just done three rides and, and it's absolutely fine. But yeah, it's not got any more rough in 12 months, which is a good sign. I thought, blimey, you know, this thing's not aged very well, and that was, what, a few weeks after opening. I thought maybe it might be getting a bit painful now, uh, but not at all, no, it's got no worse. Seems like it opened with that level of roughness and it's just not got uh, any worse, which is good to see, because this is an incredible roller coaster. Honestly, look at the thing. Um, if you're a roller coaster enthusiast out there in Europe or anywhere around the world, get yourself out here to Energylandia and come and give this beast, and of course, Zardra, a ride. They are two of the best roller coasters, not just in Europe, but in the world in my opinion and uh, yeah it's well worth coming out here and definitely come in september because like i say loads of walk-on queues today it's great anyway i'm gonna head over now to the speed water coaster uh, that had a massive queue last time so i think anyway went on it twice so probably gonna have a couple of re-rides on there and as always i'll take you along for the ride it's always great when we can film on the rides at these parks isn't it so last time i was here i queued all the way around this area for the speed water coaster and here it is Look at that, 164 foot tall, vertical lift over there, with that huge drop. And yeah, it starts down here, and you go all around the trough at the side. But yeah, this is a great ride. This only opened last year as well. I mean, it is crazy to think what's gone in over the past two years. Early last year, this opened, then Hyperion towards the end of the year. And then this year, you've got all that new themed area, and then Zardra. So this place is investing like crazy, it really is. Uh, but yes, come and join me for a ride on the Speed Water Coaster, which has currently got a zero minute wait. It's walk on, let's go. Here we go then, so I'm on the front row of Speed. Just leaving the station, we're about to be lowered into the trough. 
The sun's shining, it's nice and hot now. I've got my shorts on, so I'm ready for a soaking on the front row. <laughs> yeah, because it literally it comes all the way over here on the front. I am going to be dripping wet through afterwards. You don't get as wet on the other rows though. But yeah, if you do want to get your shoes wet and everything, yeah, front row ride is the way forward. If you don't want to get absolutely soaked, go on one of the other rows, because literally it will come all the way over here. I'll see you around at the lift hill in just a moment. Such a menacing structure, isn't it, when you see it in front of you? <laughs> it's crazy that a water ride is this tall. And here we are coming out of the trough onto the wheels just here. So as one goes up loaded with passengers, the other one comes down ready to collect us. All about increasing the throughput. Built by Intamin this ride. In the moment we'll move forward onto that. Ready to climb up. I'm being dripped on here. Yeah. <laughs> now I've been told we can see some of the track for this new roller coaster for 2020 off to the left if I look from up here. So we'll find out. And up we go, nice and fast. Shows how big this park is though now, doesn't it? And there we go. So I'm not sure how well you can see it on the GoPro. Some blue track just over there. That is for the new roller coaster. Oh, you get a great view of it from up here now. There we are. Get ready. You can see all the site where that's going to go. There's also some foundations over there as well next to uh, Formula. Here we go. Hold on to Oh, we don't need to hold on. There we go. Yeah. Woo! So you get to this point, you think, I'm dry. I'm dry. I'm going to be fine. You get it in just a moment. Exciting to see that Vacoma track, though. Woo! Here we go, get ready. Yahoo! Sorry, shoes, what I'm about to do to you. <laughs> Lovely, absolutely dripping wet through. Lovely. <laughs> footage there from the spectacular speed water coaster here at Energylandia. That much fun that I didn't just have the one ride there on the front row, I went straight back round and had a back row ride on it as well. Walk on cue, sun shining, you've got to make the most of it haven't you? Uh, it'll be a really good ride, you don't get anywhere near as wet though if you sit near the back on that, uh, but the front row is where you do get soaked. So if you want a, a wet soaking experience then you want to get on the front row of uh, that one. Uh, but yeah, I just made my way round into the water park. You can probably guess why. As I saw from up the top there of Speed Water Coaster, I was looking over towards where the track is uh, being stored at the moment for that new coaster opening next year. Uh, so many new rides, it's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I thought, oh, I'll come into the water park and see if we can see it through the fence. But you can't. There's like a massive cornfield uh, just blocking it off, so you can't see any of it, sadly. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd have a walk around here. All the water park's open. Uh, reliability, it's good to see that everything's open in this park from what I've seen. Obviously, I've walked past loads of the different rides. Everything seems like it's in action uh, which is really good I mean I didn't know if I came here last time and just had it on a good day you don't know when it's your first time coming to parks but coming back for a second visit happy to say that um, you know everything's open as it should be you never know with these parks you could go to some of them and rides could be closed and boarded off I've had it before at some parks and it's not been advertised whereas with here it seems like everything's in action which is good to see and yeah the water park I did mention this last time but this is actually included uh, in your admission there's various different entrance gates all throughout the theme park that lead into the water park you don't have to pay any extra and it's got a good variety of slides and different attractions i mean there's loads of sunbeds all the way around and uh, you get some great views of the theme park as well from in here but you've got a drop slide loads of different dinghy slides racing slides all sorts of stuff and yeah it's all included in the admission it's not a separate gate which i think is brilliant really good value bear in mind it cost me i think it was 34 pounds for two days at this park um, not bad at all, but let's continue round and do some more rides this afternoon. Yeah. 
I'll tell you what, it really is good to see that Energylandia have got a lot better at naming roller coasters. I must say Zardra and Hyperion is a big step up compared to Dragon Roller Coaster, uh, what this is called. But yeah, it's a Vekoma family suspended coaster, and this is a really good ride actually, so come and join me. Oh, there's a hose pipe there. You know what that's doing? Yeah, yeah, come and show me for a ride in the POV on the Dragon Roller Coaster. Hashtag best coaster name ever. A lot of thought went into that, didn't it? <laughs> Here we go, back row ride on the Dragon Roller Coaster. Oh, <laughs> got a good layout this one. Really enjoy this ride last time. Really do like the first drop, how you go straight down into the dragon's mouth at the bottom. Here we go. Whee! Wow! Oh, <laughs> intense on the back. Oh, it's like being back at Dollywood. <laughs> Brilliant rides they are, those Vekoma family suspended coasters. A great addition to any park, in my opinion. And that's great how it drops down into the tunnel and then straight up into that heavy banking as well. Uh, anyway, I'm back over in the Dragon Zone, as it's known, to come and do a few re-rides on that beast. Zardra, not the monorail. Uh, so I'm going to head over there now, maybe do two or three rides. It's on two trains. It's advertised a 10 minute queue. Um, so yeah, all, all the Mountain King, I can't get over it. Listen to it. feel like I'm at Alton Towers. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and ride on Zardra a few times. I won't take you on for another POV now because uh, we had two earlier on, but I will put in lots of different off-ride footage for you to see that beautiful coaster from a few different angles. In my opinion, it's one of the best looking roller coasters out there. It just looks absolutely stunning with that support structure all the colors and the themed area around it is great as well really hope energylandia are moving away from putting rides all really close together and sort of spreading them out a bit more in a themed area such as the dragon zone because in my opinion it looks awesome here's a bit of off-ride footage of zardra of off-ride footage there of Zardra in action here at Energylandia. I've managed to do three rides in about 45 minutes, so not too bad. Uh, like I say, it's because of that ridiculously long queue. I say that, I'd rather have that than loads of up and down cattle pens. You know I don't like those. And at least with this, you can get some really good shots of the coaster, uh, some of which you saw just uh, that I took from all around the queue line. And there'll be a separate off-ride video coming to the channel soon uh, with loads more different angles that I've shot. Uh, but yes, I have decided that out of all the bigger RMC coasters that I've done, I'm talking like Steel Vengeance, Untamed, Wildfire, and a few of the others, 
I would class that as the most re-rideable of those in terms of I could just keep going round and round on it. Yes, I'd say it's the most intense in terms of uh, on that turnaround section, I feel forced there like no other RMC that I've done. Uh, and that does include Steel Vengeance. But I'd, I really like my forceful coasters, but I like them to be smooth. And that's perfect for me because it's really, really smooth. I mean, RMCs are in general, aren't they? Um, but ridiculously smooth, but also ridiculously intense because you've got that speed. Uh, so yeah, it's really re-rideable, that coaster. I think Charlotte would really like it as well. Obviously, Untamed, when we went there last month, that was her first RMC. Uh, and obviously, with Untamed, there's a lot of airtime on that ride, a lot of being pushed up into the restraint. On that, nowhere near as much. Uh, so I actually think Charlotte would really enjoy that. I think that should be... Uh, the next RMC that she gets on really uh, I, I even think like the likes of Steel Vengeance and stuff isn't for Charlotte because of all that airtime being whacked up into the seats on that it's probably the, well, it is the most comfortable out of all of the bigger RMCs out there it does feel like they may have done some work actually on the trains themselves uh, with this and also the restraints don't feel quite as bulky they're not quite as heavy when you lift them up it is worth pointing out that likewise with most of the RMCs out there uh, they don't like you closing your own restraint you fasten your own seat belt and then they come along and push your restraint down but like I said they're not pushing them down too hard at all very rideable coaster Zardra it's an excellent ride and uh, yeah it's definitely somewhere there in my top 10 oh, there we go I've said it again I know people say Sean you put so many rides in your top 10 this year I just have to, I mean, my top 10 really need shuffling about. So I am going to do a new video on that over winter, uh, along with some other top 10 videos. I know loads of you have been asking for them. They are coming, like dark rides, water rides. Uh, I'm really going to sit down this winter and really think about what is in that top 10, because there's a lot of rides out there for me now uh, that certainly deserve to be uh, in that point. But yeah, I might have to do more than a top 10, you know, uh, maybe a top 20, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to do all that over winter. Uh, but yeah, Zardra is absolutely absolutely incredible it really is and RMC they are leading the way in my opinion uh, I know they're a newer company compared to some of the others out there that have been going for a long time but I dread to think in 10 years from now what RMC are going to be doing uh, they're doing this crazy stuff now I can't wait to see them develop even more and of course more of them open around the world anyway going back to basics now with a ride out of a Comer SLC it's the Mayan roller coaster uh, but yeah this is actually one of the best out there it's really smooth it's got the new generation trains and track design actually and uh, yeah the restraints on here are a lot better as well so yes come and join me for a ride on the Mayan roller coaster off we go row number two five minute wait for this one it's on a one train service but doesn't really need to be anymore when it's on a five minute queue not too bad at all it's crazy to think though that 12 months ago I was riding this looking out over fields and then now you've got that massive RMC. Still can't believe it. And of course off to the left all the new area and to the left of that all the construction site for their new coasters for next year. Very exciting. Apparently there's going to be a Vacoma mine train as well coming at some point in the future. Absolutely crazy. Oh Zardra, what a beauty. Yeah this is smooth and enjoyable this. nowhere near as bad I mean this is like the worst bit now on infusion and stuff <laughs> Woo! there we go honestly I do think that if parks could do they really need to look at getting these new trains like it'd be so much better if the likes of Condor at Wallaby Holland infusion at Blackpool Pleasure Beach have these new generation trains, it really would. So much better with the vests. Really comfortable. Right then, straight from one Vacoma and over to another. Up next, it's time to go on the park's family boomerang. Really enjoy this, it's got some good bits of theming around it as well. And there's a couple of buildings that you interact with throughout the layout. So let's go around there and go on. It's about a five minute wait. The last time I was here, I remember waiting a long time for this one. Obviously because of the design of the ride, you can only run one train. So yeah, I had quite a long queue. So I'll make the most of it and let's go on the boomerang. Off we go on the front row of boomerang. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's much hotter today than what I was expecting. Beautiful weather. Really, really nice day for it here at Energylandia. And it looks like it's going to be the same tomorrow. 
There we go, straight to the station. <laughs> and there we go, the short and sweet those, but I do quite enjoy them. Nice rides. Bit of boomerang for you. There really is such a fantastic variety of roller coasters on offer here at Energylandia. So many different rides here at this park. When you think about the coasters in particular, you've got something for everyone. You've got your children's roller coasters, stuff that all the family can ride, and then your big thrilling attractions as well. Honestly, there's so much variety at this park, and I highly recommend you coming out here to come and check it out. And like I say, if you do come here to Energylandia, uh, you may as well make a few days of it, have a couple of days here, and also go and spend the day at Legendia as well. It was really good when I went last year. Uh, you know, I'll probably go back again next year when I come out to here to see the new ride, or rides. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely uh, have to look at doing that. And of course, if you do want to see my vlog from Legendia, it is online from last August here on Theme Park Worldwide. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to do a few e-rides now on Hyperion and then sort of go from there. May go back over to Zarge, we'll do a couple of rides to end the day or I might do something else. I'll see how I feel after doing a few rides on Hyperion. Yeah, about 90 minutes left to go, uh, but what a lovely day it's been. Really nice. just had three rides in a row on Hyperion, mainly because of the short wait. Any row other than the front row was really quiet. Uh, for the front, bear in mind it was on one train, it was maybe about half an hour, there was a lot of people waiting for that. Uh, but to go on the back row and the middle rows, yeah, no wait at all, so I managed to do three rides on it. Honestly, it's such an intense coaster, it really is fantastic, and uh, it's nice to be able to make the most of it on a low queue today as well. Uh, I'll definitely get on a front row though tomorrow, I'll either go there early, uh, or I'll just wait it out at some point during the day. Because I've just walked past it, I've just looked at the dark ride behind me, the one dark ride in this park that is absolutely terrible. I did it last time, just couldn't stop laughing all the way through. That's a big cuddly toy, wasn't it? Um, I thought, you know what, because it's really quiet now, it's got no weight, I'm going to take you guys on it. So, uh, just before we go and do a couple of rides on Zardra to end the day, let's go on this absolutely terrible dark ride. Honestly, it's awful, it really is. One of the worst out there. It's called Monster Attack. Um, so yeah, come and join me for this one. Honestly, you're in for a treat. So here we are on board Monster Attack, the interactive dart ride. So I'm going to pull the gun out and here we go. So the audio has just gone off for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> which doesn't surprise me. And we got all of these uh, static figures all the way around the side. <laughs> it's not great at all, is it? Oh, what's going on? Why is there no audio as well? It's even worse than last time. Yeah, <laughs> and my gun isn't even working. I can't even, it's like there's no power or something on this car. What the hell? Yeah, is this gun really work? Let's have a go. Pull that one back. Oh, that's it. Put it in the right place. No, nothing from this. <laughs> nothing from this one either. Um, yeah, this is why it's the worst dark ride going, genuinely. Nothing moves. The audio cut off. Yeah. <laughs> you got to come on it though if it's walk on, like, and just come and see it if you do come to the park. Don't miss out when you've got, you know, two spectacular roller coasters that are world class. You know, definitely take time out to come and do this. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? It's even worse than last time. <laughs> wow. And there we go. 
It's absolutely awful that dark ride, isn't it? A part like this now should really be looking at investing either in that one to make it a lot better or a brand new dark ride. Personally, after the next couple of coasters are built that they've already got planned, I think it'd be really nice to see them go for a big scale dark ride, uh, something along the size of Symbolica, I think could work really well in this park. And they'd even make their own sort of icon, if you like. And I don't mean a Mac roller coaster, an icon as in, like Disney's got its castle, and like f -Telling's now got Symbolica. Uh, just something what they can put on the logo, and that be the heart of Energylandia. That's where I'd like to see them go next. Uh, but I tell you what, they've come a long way, haven't they, since that dark ride? as this spectacular new area they really have and um, just before I wrap up the day one vlog I'm gonna go for one more ride on Zardra that spectacular new roller coaster only a few weeks old here at Energylandia I'll take you along for the third POV why not I know you all want to go on again so I'll take you on again for another POV and then we'll wrap up this day one vlog like I say I'll be back tomorrow for another action-packed day do some more of the roller coasters and some of the other rides as well and we'll even have a little bit more of in the hall of the mountain king Ha <laughs>train ride this time I've shown you a front row I've shown you a back row let's show you what it's like from closer to the middle spectacular views and that view is soon going to change and here we go different angles for you there tried to hold the camera down a little bit on the zero g stall so you got to see that awesome view definitely recommend when you're going over it which is the element just there looking straight down towards the ground oh it's brilliant best elements on the ride in my opinion wow another spectacular ride there on zardra here at energylandia honestly that thing is flying around the track even faster than it was earlier like i thought this morning okay this is an rmc what's already warmed up at the start of the day it's even more crazy and i was saying earlier on you didn't really get loads of airtime. you are now you're actually getting airtime in places that you weren't earlier in the day honestly that thing is running absolutely crazy there's airtime, it's intense and the speed of it uh, has blown me away what an incredible ride loads of rides on it today as well and more to come tomorrow uh long with the rest of the park and that new themed area they've put in that's definitely a step in the right direction the park's always been pretty good at the theming here however they really stepped it up with the new area and i hope that they're sort of learning now to uh, develop more and spread things out instead of building rides very close to each other uh, like the rest of the park is last year when they opened hyperion that was a big step up in terms of the theming quality they've just upped that level again with zardra and that whole themed area and yeah it really is absolutely fantastic a great addition uh, not just zardra but the overall area with the two junior coasters uh, the flat ride and the cycle monorail it's a real nice package around there and I think it looks really really good uh, but yes more to come tomorrow tonight though I'm actually staying locally I'm staying at, at a, an area what's actually called the Western Camp Resort it's located less than a mile away from the park and they're actually partnered with Energylandia and uh, I'm not staying in a teepee but I am staying in one of the chuck wagons that you can see just over there uh, there is TP 
VIPs, there's lodges, all sorts of accommodation. And I'm going to be doing a separate video on that because I think it deserves it, to be honest. It's a very heavily themed resort. It's very, very nice. I didn't stay there last time. I commuted down here um, for two days um, from Katowice, uh, whereas this time I'm actually staying locally. And uh, yeah, I think it's absolutely brilliant. So there will be a vlog coming, having a look around the Western Camp Resort, and that'll be coming after the day two vlog uh, here from Energylandia. But there we go. Thanks for joining me, Sean Sandbrook, here on Theme Park Worldwide. And I'll be back tomorrow for another day of fun here in Poland at this awesome park. Thank you very much for watching, and that means it's time to cue those credits. See you tomorrow.